student is typically the first question. Really the right fit student is a student who's just better matched to their individual program of interest on your campus. They're therefore easier to convert. They take less effort to convert. They take less time to move through your enrollment pipeline. They therefore take less lean on your admission staff. And really, they're the students that are more likely to enroll because they mirror students um, within your campus who have previously um, persisted, previously graduated, and therefore they're more likely to do the same thing themselves. There are two really important aspects of recruiting students. And one is what we're gonna spend a lot of time today about is using data analytics to drive your decisions, to drive uh, your markets to identify those students that are really worth the time that it takes to massage them to become not only admitted and enrolled, but really successful graduates. But also, I don't want to lose track of the piece that's really also important, which is as much as we can, having a, a soft touch with those students. And so in the past, it used to be a recruitment fair. You'd shake a hand across the table you would have that type of interaction. And we all know that that doesn't exist anymore. But we can use data, we can use AI, um, and we can use sort of our personalities and, and our skills as admissions professionals to really make that connection with, with that core group of potential applicants. Our experience really what makes them even that much more successful is timing and really finding the right time to target students in their enrollment journey so that they are most likely to respond positively and engage with any of your messaging. Really, when you start to know when to target your students, you're less likely to find that the students are ignoring what you have to say and more likely to be listening. Personalize, localize, specialize your content. The more that you can personalize a campaign, the more likely a student is to engage. So, this means really that your messaging should focus not only on the program of interest for that student, but also what are their other interests on campus? What else are they interested in getting involved in? Talk about OPT, CPT opportunities. Is it a student from a market who's typically making decisions based off of the feel of a campus that they need to see a virtual campus tour? Do they need to hear from students and need to see student outreach or student testimonials? Or are they students from markets that really are data-centric students? They really just want to know what are the outcomes? What is my likelihood of graduating and finding a career? But really the focus needs to be each market is different. So if you can personalize that message to a student, really localize what they're interested in based off of market demands, they're more likely to listen to your message. The peer-to-peer connection is um, really having a lot of impact. So we started a global ambassador program this year. And, and I would love for everyone in the world to want to talk to me and ask me about UMBC. But the truth of the matter is they bypass me altogether and they go directly to their student ambassadors. And particularly if they can find a student ambassador that is in the same academic program they want to go into and from the same country. Um, and those are our, those students are really the best marketing we have. Um, but it's been taking, it's taking that data analytics that we've been using to really hone in on what kind of ambassadors do we need and then what kind of messaging. We want them to be honest, but we also want to make sure that they're on message for, for what we know is important to that particular recruit. The standard universe behavior is our behavior. I mean, for most of us, that's what that's what we have the, the capacity to do. That's what we have the systems to do. Um, and and there are a few folks that might be able to do a little bit more of the optimization opportunity. We can't do it all, but we can take a couple of really key steps and working with our partners. Uh, do those extra conversion activities that really result in high yield, frankly.